Hey Vikes, I'm Jessica. And I'm Erin, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Key Club will be selling candy this week during CLP to raise money for UNICEF Children's Charity. Every time you buy a 20-ounce drink at the Viking Brew, you can enter your name and guess for the bucket of candy. Winner announced on October 31st. Picture retakes will be November 3rd and November 6th in the South Entryway from, six, from 7 to 2. We have a random question story. We asked some people some random questions. Let's go check out what they said. I would be yellow because yellow is happy. I'm going to say blue because that's my favorite color. Purple. No, it's not a sandwich. No. Depends on how you eat it. No, and let me tell you why. I have an answer to this. Cereal is not soup because soup requires broth and milk is not broth. So, cereal is not soup. If you got like fruity pebbles that turn soggy in 10 seconds, that's a soup. But if you got like cinnamon toast crunch that takes a while to get soggy, that's cereal. No, because soup is usually salty and cereal's like sweet. Picking their nose. The wop dance. The shark move. <laughs> It does not belong on pizza. It shouldn't go on pizza. I never really had it, but it looks good. But like, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> no, not at, o not at all okay. No, mushrooms, that's fine, but anything like sweet or it just doesn't go. Mm -mm. Wow, those are some wacky answers. Wow, those are really some crazy questions. SHS History Day will be having a pad night at the pad restaurant tomorrow from 4 to 8 p.m. Stephen FFA is selling poinsettias this year. Check Schoology on how to order them. We have a Civics Unplugged story. Do you want to help build the future of America in this democracy? If so, you should consider signing up for Civics Unplugged. You may be wondering what Civics Unplugged is. Civics Unplugged is a program for high school students from all around the United States working together to form a better future for America. According to the website, many people have said that they have lost their faith in their leaders, and Civics Unplugged wants to change that. Civics Unplugged features a diverse community of people from many different backgrounds from all around the United States. If you want to learn more, there's a lot more information about Civics Unplugged on their website that you can read from, with some of this information being their values and principles. If you're interested in this opportunity to join the Civics Unplugged program, make sure to go to civicsunplugged.org. Before you are able to join the program, though, you must apply to the Civics Unplugged Fellowship Program. In the Civics Unplugged Fellowship Program, you will, be, you will be taught and trained on how to be a member of the Civics Unplugged Program. Once you graduate from the fellowship, you will officially be a part of Civics Unplugged. But make sure you sign up as soon as possible as the deadline to apply is November 30th, and the sooner that you apply, the sooner you will hear back from them on whether or not you have been accepted. Now, back to your anchors. Girls interested in trying out for this year's girls basketball team should attend the meeting when they are at school Tuesday or Thursday in the East Commons. Today at 1.15, Samantha Ingram will sign a letter of content to play volleyball at Peru State College in Peru, Nebraska. Congratulations, Sam. There will be an informational meeting for boys interested in swim this week on Tuesday and Thursday at 1.15, both in the West Commons. The boys cross country team were regional champions on Saturday, finishing first with a total of 50 points. Congrats, boys. Congratulations to the girls' Vikes cross-country team on winning the regional cross-country championship on Saturday. We have a behind-the-scenes story from the girls' cross-country team. Okay, I'm here with uh, Elise Langdon, the girls' cross-country manager. And uh, Elise, what do you have to do to prepare, prepare the team before a meet? Um, basically, I usually just help with the coaches with putting together uh, the pins and the numbers they wear to keep track of each other during the meet. Uh, what do you do uh, for the team, you know, after a meet, like picking up and everything? 
Um, well, I usually just do times. I take the mile times and finish times. And then throughout practicing, we do on certain days, there are certain workouts and I usually time certain workouts so we can see the growth throughout the season. Uh, how has COVID affected you like so far this season? Uh, it's just been kind of like strange having to work around different stuff like wearing masks and running is kind of interesting with the uh, um, sports in general. Uh, what's your job as a manager uh, at practice? So again, we just, I take times. I help the coaches if they need it. I record some things during the end of the season to help with like um, parents with the present presentation with the parents at the end of the season. Uh, what strives you to uh, be there to help your team each day? It's really just fun. We're all we all connect. They're just really good people. We're all friends. Sports managers do a lot for everyone, so make sure to tell them thank you the next time you see them. Thanks, Jake, and make sure to thank your sports managers. Now over to Zoe with our weather announcements. Good afternoon, Vikings. I'm sure many of you have noticed we got quite a bit of snow last night. The snow is going to continue on and off for the rest of today, with our snow totals reaching about one inches to three inches. As you can see, it is going to remain very, very cold today with our high today only reaching up into the 30s area, if even that. For SVTV 7 day forecast, we are going to be done with snow by early tonight and tomorrow morning. But we will be warming back up later into next week with our temperatures reaching back up into the 60s for a while longer. Now back to your anchor. Thanks, Zoe. That's all for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.